Hi, it's Neil Sean here on your entertainment news with the one and only, one of my favourite all-time girl singers, the wonderful Miss Helen Shapiro. Remember though, Helen, if you miss it, you'll miss out. So don't miss Helen today on your entertainment news. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, finally, and thank you for being my guest. It's a pleasure. Now, first things I want to ask you are, I was looking at your film career, <laughs> and, and this, one really? of the things that made me laugh was, uh, the title of this film, It's Trad Dad. Yeah. Now, I'm not old enough, of course, but I know what that, that meant, but what was the title about, and when, when you saw it, did you know straight away what it meant? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the trad, of course, is short for traditional, yeah. and it was about traditional jazz otherwise known as Dixieland Jazz, <laughs> and at that, that particular time, late 50s, early 60s, I mean, in this case it was the early 60s, there was a big boom of traditional jazz bands and records getting in the charts. Kenny Ball, yeah. Ackerbilt, Chris Barber, and so on and so forth. And uh, so I got invited to take part in this film. I had just left school, I was just leaving school, you look so uh, young, innit? I was uh, in the film, oh dear, that my wonderful acting. I was 15, and uh, it, it was about... Uh, well, it was directed by Dick Lester, as he was there, and then he became Richard Lester, and got famous for the Beatles <laughs> yeah. films and all that. And it was, it was great fun. It, it, three weeks shooting, it was done. And um, the, the term, tra it's trad dad, was coined by a jazz guy, uh, Bruce Turner used to play with Humphrey Littleton's band. He used to call everybody Dad, and he coined the, the thing Trad, and so it was all about that. And there were some pop stars from America as well. And when was it filmed at Pinewood? Shepparton, actually. So when you're... Uh, this I find fascinating about this. You're a very young girl, and suddenly you're a movie star, and you're getting, I'm guessing, taken in a car. Did you get taken into the studio? Yeah, I did. So was, that must have been uh, incredibly it, exciting, it, though, Except it? for the, 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 the hours. It was really silly, <laughs> silly o'clock in the morning. Uh, I had to be on set uh, and made up and hair and all the business. Big hair. <laughs> uh, but at 7 o'clock. Uh, in the morning, and of course that's the film world, I didn't know, yeah. so I found it very difficult. I got told off a couple of times for not quite making it. Um, but no, it was exciting, meeting a lot of these stars, yeah. and uh, singing so a couple of little jam sessions offset with uh, Kenny and Akko and people, and uh, just, it was, it was great fun. It was a great film, actually, of its genre. Yeah. Uh, a lot of wacky stuff. I mean, uh, the, uh, the only film that um, uh, Dick Lester had done before that, of, of note was the running, jumping, standing, still film, which was The Goons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he went straight into Trad Dad, yeah. and there was a lot of that kind of goony humour in it, too. So then I, I was watching your other film, Play It Cool, which is now a, a trendy phrase, isn't is it? it? I mean, oh, yeah. Play It Cool. Yeah, cool. just to cool, you know, very yeah. cool. Now, and that, uh, what I thought was amazing was you seem very poised in this point, and you kind of, <laughs> no, but you come across as very confident, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, Wow, you know, you're very young. Because you try to keep putting it in your mind, how confident was I at 15, 16, you know, that sort of thing. I mean, you're opposite Billy Fury. Now, the, the, every young girl loved Billy Fury. He's as big as whoever today, isn't he, just in yeah. one direction. When you met the, you must have thought, did you fancy him before you, you know what I mean, before, or was he not your scene, was it Cliff? It wasn't, no, actually, it was Paul Newman, actually. Oh. <laughs> but even then... Oh, Billy didn't stand a chance. Uh, no, he was lovely, he was a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed working with him. Although I didn't actually get to work with him yeah, that yeah. much. I met him a couple of times on the set, but I was really just a guest yeah. uh, to sing a couple of songs, uh, which was great fun, and... Um, uh, I sang a song called I Don't Care, and Bernie Winters, of Mike and Bernie Winters, was, was in it, and he played a, a song publisher 
trying to sell me a song, <laughs> and I played me, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, it was great fun. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I think I only did two days on that one. Um, I, I was already on the road doing pop package tours. Mm -hmm.